keeping our children safe. It's a goal in communities throughout the nation, especially today on this National Missing Children's Day. Our Julian Pixoto spoke to local parents and law enforcement who shared their thoughts and their tips on how to accomplish that goal. It's got to the point where you don't really dare to let them out of your sight. While child abductions are anything but common in the southern tier, they're very rare, very rare. It's still important to be proactive about your child's safety. We always keep an eye on him whenever he's on the playground. Our place is fenced in. When we're out and about, he's always holding on to the stroller or holding someone's hand. I hold the stroller. If I told him if they're ever in trouble, just start screaming. Hopefully somebody will hear him. National Missing Children's Day is observed on May 25th. On this date in 1979, six-year-old Aton Pates disappeared on his way to school. I just remember reading about it. I just remember them saying it was the first time she had let him go by himself. Pates's body was never found, but he was declared legally dead in 2001. His story spurred a new movement in child safety. The best way to keep your children safe is just to know as much as you can about what they're doing. And like I said, know their friends, know their friends' families know all their activities, know where they go. It's never too early to talk to your children about safety. As soon as they can understand. Uh, stranger danger is definitely a thing they should be taught at an early age. Taught not to go with strangers, not to talk with strangers. It's never too young. Experts say the safety message will stick. Never talk with strangers, be careful. While these tips may seem simple, they can keep your child safe and sound. Julianne Pixoto, WBNG-TV, Action News. And law enforcement recommends keeping an identification card with your child's information just in case an emergency ever occurs.